Y'all, I know Mary's catfishing story was like many, many moons ago, and I know I done said, why are we still talking about it? But and however, we about to do a deeper dive into this whole scandal. So if you don't want to hear about it, I'm giving you air an opportunity to click off this video. I ain't going to be mad. Okay, there's some things I don't want to hear about, and I don't click on the video. So, thank you for clicking on this video. But if you don't want to hear about it, go on and exit door left. Y'all, this whole catfish scandal goes far deeper than I ever even knew about. And I'm glad that I know about it now, because I am going to share the story with y'all. And y'all are going to be just as shocked as I am right now if you don't know anything about it y'all 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 mary's catfish apparently this is the job of the catfish is to catfish people i told y'all y'all don't never be trusting anybody on the internet because you can be anybody on the internet and this is proof y'all this was mary's catfish Seen photographed with Mary because Mary wasn't aware at the time of this picture that this was her catfish. It's a whole mess. It's a lot. We're going to get into it, but y'all, I'm over here like, do what now? This is the mugshot of Mary's catfish. No, she was not arrested for catfish, and she was arrested for like some, didn't pay some taxes or something like that. But y'all, y'all. This lady is something serious. This lady apparently has a long list of people that she seeks out and tries to catfish and will steal from them. She does like identity theft, child. She has applied for credit cards under people's names. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I told y'all this story, this scandal goes deeper than I ever even knew. But I know now. And we're going to talk about it. Because allegedly, this woman is still out here scamming people, stealing from people, and catfishing people. Oh, we about to take a little listen to some of the victims that this lady has. We about to hear the story about how she catfished Mary. OMG, y'all, it's, it's a long video, okay? Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, kick on back. Let's take a listen. My boss was also a good friend of mine. And they weren't able to have children physically. And so they were starting, you know, the adoption process to adopt a child. And she actually did an adoption scam on them and oh said her God. cousin had twins and just led them on for months and oh it, it's so heartbreaking. I mean, they bought all the, you know, the strollers and the car seats and, and it was heartbreaking. You know, I don't know how that it is was horrible. Obviously my friend and my boss knew that I had nothing to do with it. And I mean, obviously she never took that out on me and we're still friends to this day, but she could have, and I wouldn't have blamed her. You know, I was just in the dark about it as she was. Wow. So she's definitely has it's, it's more psychological issues that she has. She's not even in it just for emotional manipulation, like for her just to take a couple and to say, hey, I have someone and, you know, you can adopt their kids and have them right. all thinking that they're going to have kids. Like what kind of sick person would even do that, man? Right. Like, it sounds like right. she just wants to mess with people. It's not that, oh, she just needs a friend. And and, yeah. you know, if she had a good friend. She wouldn't do this. Obviously, that's not what it is. She wants and to, mess to with this you. day. To this day, this woman is still running the same games that she was doing before, right? Yes, she, absolutely. She's still she active is. in this. Okay. Yep. Yep. And okay, so I yeah, I told you about that. That was one of the worst things out of the out of the whole situation with me and also the identity theft and all of that. Um, so then how I stumbled upon this, because like I said, after this all happened, I got a lawyer, I got my credit fixed, I got all of that squared away. That's all I cared for. That's all I cared about at that time was to get my stuff straightened out and to move on. And um, in October of 2015, I was scrolling on my phone through like, you know, one of those Hollywood gossip reality websites or whatever. And I see a headline that says Mary Brown was catfished. I clicked on it and it says it was uh, by a woman in Oklahoma named Jackie. And 
I think you would have had to pick me up off the floor. Like I called my family. We were all freaking I bet. out. What was your reaction? What did what did you think? I was shaking. How much later was this that you that you found this article after she did it? To um, you? So that was in October of 2015. I kicked her out in 2009. Wow. So, so six, six years, years later. Six, years. six wow. years later. Yeah. Wow. I was shaking. I called my family. I, I just, I was so upset. I just couldn't believe it that she was, I, you know, part of me was stupid and thought that, well, she got caught. Maybe she'll quit doing this. That was the dumbest assumption I ever made. And so, no, she still, you know, continued to do it. And so what had happened then was my daughter and I were searching on, I think, Facebook about her or something. And we found a group of women on Facebook who were looking for victims um, and to share their stories. And so that's how I met a lot of these women that are in this group now. And, uh, you know, I told them my story. And, of course, I mean, I had to show my receipts and all that kind of stuff, which I understand. And, um, you know, some of these women to this day are good friends of mine. Um, Deb A is one of my best friends. And I trust her wholeheartedly because she's she was in this group long before I was, and she has just been nothing but a support to me over the years. And I can tell her anything. And so anyway, that's how I met those group of women. And they had already been, you know, watching Jackie and warning people and all that kind of stuff. So then I'll let you, uh, Deb wants to come in and take over from there. Okay. Let's bring Deb a in. All right, Deb, are you here? Can you hear us? I can. Can you hear me? We can. Okay. Welcome uh, to the stream. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, and this story is so wild. Um, I But I wanted to give you just a little bit of background um, to help make sense out of all of it. It's and hard to follow, and it's, people it, just got to kind of listen and, yeah. and focus. It's all over the place. It is. It's very hard to follow because these scams uh, were all over the place. I mean, I don't know. Nobody knows how many she had going at one time. You know, it wasn't just one. It was multiple scams. So, you know, we really are all over the place with it, trying to piece it together through the years. Like Van said, you know, we're talking 23, 23 years that we know of. It could go back even further. But um, from the research that was done by this group of women, um, she started off long ago. Um, as like an administrator in forums, she was in a lot of the gaming sites, a lot of sports, and that's how she would get to know these people. And, you know, always very friendly, very helpful. So people looked up to her, which she loved. She went under oh, so many names you can't even imagine. Um, just a whole slew of names that eventually came down and to Sam, Samuel J. Cooper, the name that she's using now. But what she does is through the years, she has stolen pieces of all of her victims' lives and she's used it to build her story. So she catfished some young boys and some teenagers. When she was catfishing a boy, she answers as a female. When she catfishes, you know, a girl, she would answer as a male. Then she would take the information that the girls sent her and the pictures and send those to the boys. And, you know, vice versa. The, any of the information from the boys, she used that to catfish the girls. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, she started off with kids, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But she really doesn't have kids, right? No. See, people, this is important. You, The reason that we're even presenting this to you guys is important that you pay attention because this woman is still on the, on the loose. And there's many, many, many other people that get out here and do the same thing. Maybe not as bad, but huh, you need to pay attention. Go ahead, so Dan. from this group of boys, she stole parts of their family story to build her story. Um, one of the, uh, I think one of the boys 
family had a big business, very well-known business. So she stole that piece and she became part of the Perkins family and called herself the Kool-Aid Kid. So this is the beginning of Sam the, the Millionaire. And he started off, or she started off as Samuel Christensen. That's, um, I think, after Joe, um, oh, let's see. After Jackie went after, started going after adult women, this was her persona, this um, Sam Christensen. And he was part of the Kool-Aid family and multimillionaire and, you know, constantly helping people. He went from there into Sam Cooper and um, built his story as Samuel J. Cooper. Now, he's got a, Sam Cooper has got a blog. He's got uh, his Twitter. He's got his best friend, Lindsay. Um, he has employees and every one of them is Jackie. And this is how he builds a storyline because there's always people to vouch for him. So this is when he met Mary, when he was um, Sam Cooper. And it started off, you know, he pursued her. He went to her Twitter and, you know, made a comment. And, you know, she commented back and it started going back and forth. They were friends. And um, he was going to help her build her business. And just like with Van, he became a friend to Mary. You know, not a love interest, just a friend. So, um, again, they went back and forth. And as her friendship grew, that's when Lindsay became involved. That's when Lindsay went to visit. That's when Lindsay and uh, Mary became very good friends. Just so to how clarify, did... Lindsay is Jackie. I'm sorry to make yes. you off. I'm yes. Sorry. And I was yes. going to ask some, something similar to that. How is it that she kept getting away with the fact that, you know, no one could ever meet Sam, but, you know, good old Lindsay's always available. Like, how did how did she get away with that? Well, because at first, it, it she's so smooth the way she does it. You know, he's a multimillionaire. He's jetting off to all his corporations all over the world. You know, he's a busy, busy businessman. And they were just friends. Then, you know, he found out that... Um, you know, he supposedly watched the show and told Mary that he didn't think she was happy. And, you know, he was a friend, a confidant. And they started that friendship because that's all it was at the beginning is a friendship. Lindsay showed up to buy product for Sam, supposedly, so that they could um, help Mary out. They were going to promote her business, help her be a little bit more independent, you know, and, and all it was is they were, or they, you know, sometimes it's hard to remember that it, it's one person and it's a woman. Same. I'm right? all stuck on the pronouns. Like, I don't know how, who to call. Right. <laughs> what, but when I say them? they, I mean all the personalities, Sam, um, yes. Lindsay. And it's all um, Jackie. And it's all Jackie. It's all Jackie. Mark. Um, his secretary, you know, all these people that Mary has gotten to know and all, you know, and he seems so legitimate. And as time went on, um, I do think he, I mean, I know they had an emotional attachment and Jackie played it up and she really laid it on thick. And it's not the first time Jackie did this. She has done this with other women, convinced them to leave their husbands. She had one woman that not only left her husband, but took her whole settlement and spent it on Jackie, on oh Jackie Overton, wow. believing that they were going to Las Vegas because Sam was going to be there. Well, then Sam um, had heart surgery. 
So then they were going back to California, to Disney World, to meet Sam there. He was going to meet him there. But that time Sam fell and broke his leg. You know, there was always a reason. Always a medical emergency or right. something like that. Yeah. Or a business he had to fly off to Paris. And wow. this woman ended up going through every penny that she had. And once she was broke... That's he moved on to somebody else, which happened to be Mary. Wow. So I think that Jackie thought that Mary would be her claim to fame. And that kind of was, though, right? Yeah, she was kind of. But that's when this group of women got together and started working and digging. And I know we always talk about not going real life and you know I'm the first one to say don't go real life we should never go real life but in this case this is a woman who stole I mean in Van Lufler to society yes. that's what she is so we don't have any problem with going real life with this situation and Van Lufa and Mary and um, this other woman I just told you about they weren't the only ones we had several in the group that um, the same thing happened to with Jackie. So there were so many people and, you know, people that had lost so much because of this woman. And, you know, people who were humiliated and broken hard, left broken because this was somebody that they built a life around. They thought that they were going to have, you know, some type of a life you know, with this person. So that's where this group came in. And it, it's such a long story, and there's so much to this. And I'll try to shorten it. The group got together and started investigating, started digging, and went to Mary and convinced her and let her know, which was horrible for her because all of this played out on TV publicly yeah. yes yep i remember yeah. in the you know tabloids all over that and people people had real strong opinions about it too yes very yep. strong um and then we have jackie coming in with the uh, voice recordings jackie did everything in her power to destroy mary in that not only had they met but they had been intimate i mean he he had pictures and he was writing a book and these pictures would be in the book except they weren't and the book was not a book it was a little pamphlet um but he made a lot of money on it and um he did everything in his power to destroy her and still this group of women even though he had been exposed so anyways, he set out to destroy Mary, um, and as I said, you know, even though we don't like to go into real life, we did. We hired a detective. We got together. We collected the money. We hired a detective that, um, of course, found no proof that Sam existed, Um went to somebody who had vouched for Sam and uh, recorded her. And according to this woman, the reason she vouched so strongly for him was because Jackie was blackmailing her. Jackie had something over her that she was going to expose. And that's why this woman played along with her. That's why a lot of people played along with her, because she held things over their heads. Um, you know, she got I in close and got information uh, yes, about them. Yes. Yeah. Um, a lot of people got angry with Mary. Um, you know, I, I'm just so empathetic. Yeah, I got so much empathy for her, though. You know, I through the years, you saw the kind of life she was living. She was mm -hmm. very lonely. And here's somebody that's telling her everything that she wants and needs to know. There's no physical contact at all. And in the end, she was destroyed. She almost lost her child over it, her family. Um, 
Jackie is not in jail. Jackie is currently doing the same thing. And we're going to get to that yeah. later on in the show. She's still doing these same things and running the same. That's where these women come into play. They try to let, they pick up on it and try to let these people know. Some people listen, some people don't. And that's what we do as a group. We exposed her. We let Mary know. Um, after that, the group kind of, kind of disbanded because, you know, all of the digging had been done. All of the proof was there. You know, we had everything out in the open. But still, she would not back down, would not admit that she was not Sam, you know, Samuel J. Cooper with all of her multimillionaire status. So what we've been doing through the years is behind the scenes when we see somebody um, chatting with her somebody on Facebook or somebody on Twitter or, you know, somebody that she mentions maybe in her blog, we contact those people. We give them the links. We give them the information. And we try to let them know before they're conned, you know, before she gets anything off of them, that she isn't real. Um, some listen and some don't. And that brings us to where we are now. Um, Sean brought up that she has a podcast with um, a new girlfriend, the new love of her life, who I might add has not ever met her. They talk, they do a podcast together. Um, there's always a reason why they can't meet. And maybe if you could bring up the other two now and um, they can go into the details of how it, it, they expose or brought the truth to this woman because we tried and this woman would not listen. She, you know, she wouldn't listen. At first, I believed that she was Jackie playing both parts because I could not believe that somebody with all this information out there would still fall for quote unquote Sam but that just tells you how good Jackie is at this well, so after 20 years you would expect yeah you know, she's the best of the best right yep so, okay, so the, go ahead go ahead I'm sorry that's what we do we try to keep an eye on it try to warn people because you know we love some of the people that she's hurt like Van Lupa you know there's a couple of them that we know that she's hurt and, you know, if that's, if we can help, you know, one person, if we can stop one, you know, then it's worth it. So, all right, next, I think um, there's two more women yes. and they're going to come up and tell you what's going on now. Kate Jackie is, still Sam. yes, the woman that he's catfishing. Got you. So Kate's the new victim. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> Sorry. All right, girls, go ahead. CJ, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first and you could go. Okay. So perfect. my part in this, um, I came in probably right after the, um, when she catfished Mary because she claimed to live in Lake Forest, which is like three towns away from me. And it's a really rich area. And she claimed that she had a like 50 house, I mean, 50 room house on the beach in Lake Forest. And there's only a handful of houses on uh, the beach in Lake Forest. But this is where Jackie claimed that Sam Cooper lived. Uh, then she would go on and say that she donated a bunch of TVs to the veterans' homes. And I actually, like, emailed, I went to the Lake Forest Police Department and pretended I was going to a party at Sam Cooper's and I couldn't find it. And they said, there's no Sam Cooper in Lake Forest. So there was no house there. So I emailed the... Um, uh, veterans homes and ask them also um, if any of them ever received any of the TVs and every single veterans home in the area said no there were no TVs given to them so Jackie pretends like she gives all these free food away and all the rest of this so that's when I became involved um, so Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Where'd I leave off? <laughs> uh, about the house. Okay, so she said that she lived in this huge house with um, 
all these rooms in there and like 50 rooms. And there's only a handful of beach, uh, beach houses that are in Lake Forest. And I pretended that I um, was looking for a party at Sam Cooper's house. And I went to the police station there and they said, there's no Sam Cooper there, period. So that was a bust. Uh, then she claimed that she invited all these veterans over to her house on um, Memorial Day and stuff like that uh, and sent TVs, huge screen TVs back to the veterans home. I emailed the veterans homes, nothing. None of them ever got any TVs from anybody. So that was a lie too. So she claims wow. like she um, donates all this stuff to all these people in need. You know, she does all these great things and none of it ever comes um, true. So um, I'm usually a listener. So I just sit in the background and I, you know, research and listen and stuff. And I really am a teacher. And so when this new person came about, um, Jackie goes by Not Batman Yet on Twitter. And so her girlfriend became Kate Kane, um, which is like, I believe it's the girlfriend of Batman, you know, like in the comic. And so everybody thought that this Kate Kane was not real, but Kate Kane is a teacher as well. So when Kate Kane would be talking, I was like, I think Kate Kane is real because she talks as a teacher would really talk. So they had this podcast and I started listening to it and Kate Kane gave so much information um, about who she was and her children and where she lived and where, you know, she was a teacher. And so I went on the Canada site, she lives in Canada and mm -hmm. where the teachers are listed. And I looked up all the information, um, you know, that she gave on the podcast and I located right down to person that is the actual person. So when I went back onto my um, Twitter account, I was blocked on her real name and I didn't even know that person. And then that's when um, a couple other people took over and I just went back into the background. So who's ever next? Go ahead. Hold on. That's Charlie. No, that's okay. <laughs> um, I like CJ um, am kind of a observer of the whole situation. Mm -hmm. And I have always thought that a person that leads a fake life, will leave crumbs or problems that will create or they'll create problems that they won't be able to continue with their facade. So right. I kind of got involved with the stuff. I, I started following it with interest on the deal with Mary, because I think that what she did to Mary was emotional blackmail. Um, I get a catfish needing and no, I don't get a catfish. I get a person needing people somebody that needs somebody that understands them. And what she mm -hmm. does is she seeks out very needy and um, Van, don't take this the wrong way. I don't mean it like it sounds, but she's an opportunist. She sees some something that could be a weakness that she can catch them with. So like her ex-wife's name was Abby and she calls everybody baby. Well, it's just Abby rearranged with the same letters, right? Right. So I've, I've kind of follow, been following her stupid Soul Life podcast, which is now down. And um, be, with the information that CJ gave us or found, we were able to locate her latest victim in real life. So, And that's I, the most recent one, like you yeah, said, right? Yeah, Kate okay. Kane, which there's two Kate Kanes on um, Twitter. The one mm -hmm. that she has is 78, not the one that's 75. So um, I finally just had enough and said, I'm going straight to the source. And we located all of her family and let her family know what's going on. And within 24 hours, her podcast was taken down. The wow. Kate Kane Twitter was um, gone. The lady's real Facebook page was gone. And I have emailed Jackie, as other people have, and just said, we will not stop until you stop. The interesting thing is, Jackie has things that validate her life. She's always um, going to be in, like the Ileana Change My Life. She runs their Ileana's Facebook page or fan page. So she has access to all these people that have problems in their life that will welcome a hero. And Jackie comes along as a hero. She wants to come in and fix them where you have to have her. And she, she plays a game called League of Legends. She finds people in there in the chat. Well, the reason that we figured out who Kate Kane was in real life 
is because I tweeted, and I don't know if I can say um, this word, but it was a little bit of a bitchy tweet. And I just said, anybody that has been interacting with not Batman yet, or actually to Kate Kane, when you find out that, that it's really a lady, contact me. About three right. or four weeks go by, and all of a sudden this lady out of the blue contacts me and gives us girls this plethora of information after she talked to us then she disappeared so uh, we don't know if it was jackie that was feeding us the information because she had to get out of the situation with kate kane because she could never meet her never so or or if it was really a person that she games with because she sends people that she games with money through paypal through her fake business so they believe this person is real wow mm -hmm. true story and that's the most recent how long ago how long ago was this uh 10 days oh wow <laughs> You know what, Charlie, while you were talking, you know what hit me? What's that? Kate Kane 75. Mm -hmm. Could that have been Jackie? Because think about it. She was Lindsay 75. She was, um, she, she's used 75 in a bunch of her Twitter names. I do know that Jackie was running that Kate Kane Twitter site. The real girl's Twitter site. Um, we'll just call her D. D's real Twitter is also gone, but um, yeah, that that I know that she also she was running that because they she needs anything to validate herself. So the conversations between Kate Kane and Jackie makes them real. The thing, the reason that I got so involved is because D in real life has. Can y'all hear me? Hello. I can hear. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. In real life, D D has three children, and one of them is a special needs child. And Jackie has promised to take that child to a hospital and get it medical care. And this lady is waiting, thinking that Jackie is going to come save her and her children. And when she started involving children is when I said, that's enough. Because this is a single mom with three kids and one of them needs medical attention. And how dare Jackie promise a mom that she's gonna help their kid. That's she how crappy this no person boundaries. is. Yeah, she has no none. boundaries. Now keep in mind, Sam Cooper, after he was uh, with Left Mary, started adopting children. Now, we all know how hard it is to adopt a child, but in Sam's case, they call him with babies. So he adopted twins from uh, one of his relatives. And then his cousin. Yeah. And then since then, two other children. Well, when he met Cain, suddenly the twins became special needs. Now they, so he it, used that to fit the narrative because that yes. woman had special need kids. Yes, that's how they. That's how Jackie works. Yes, and that's what they had in common, and that's how, you know, how she gets into these relationships, and um, it, it's just how she does it. So she's was originally was doing this in Oklahoma, but they're not sure of her whereabouts at this moment. No, this is a movie for lifetime. No, dude, I'm sticking to the Netflix documentary. This is documentary series. Yep. OK, I'm going to play it right now. You guys ready? Here. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hello, are you, uh, are you Jackie? No, sir. Jackie Oswald. Um, my name is Kate, Kate Kelsey Williams. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What's your name? Kate, Kate, Kate. Is it, wait a minute. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Hey, Vicky, are we just playing the uh, audio or is it a video? Because I'm only it's seeing just audio. Uh, All it is okay, is so audio. Let's let's let the people know what they're listening to again for anybody who's not, you know, didn't hear. Go ahead. That was in touch magazine after all of this was blown sky high. Um, in touch magazine. 
decided to go out and see if they could get an interview with Jackie. Well, they caught her at her home and caught her totally off guard. And this is what um, this recording is. And listen to how she stumbles over her, her name. She totally it's my favorite part. It's like three different names. Okay. Right. Hang on. Let's listen to it again. Here you go. Looks like her. <laughs> Looks like you, lady. <laughs> Yes, it's being left up, uh, Texas Kim. Wow. So what else? She's do we so get? smooth about it. I mean, other than you know, yeah. she, she choked on her name, uh, <laughs> but but I, like it doesn't even phase her to just lie, just straight up lie so easily. Wow. And then she tried to turn it around on us and putting blog posts out there that um, Jackie Overton was really this mother of two in Texas and um, has no clue what we were doing to her and putting all this information out there, false information out there about her. Well, then this Jackie Overton died. People die in, <laughs> in Sam's life. Lots of people die. Quite um, often, huh? People are die. Yeah. He kills them off left and right. Yeah. But, um, you know, we've been threatened with lawsuits. He's going to have his... Um, because keep in mind, he's a multimillionaire. Um, right. He's threatened that his seven lawyers are serving us subpoenas. We're still waiting four years after. Um, <laughs> That's my favorite. Oh, what else has he done? Or well, she I love done? A good YouTube uh, lawsuit. <laughs> Nothing better. Right. <laughs> Trying to think um, the subpoenas. Uh, so well, is anyone I, trying to work on getting her arrested or prosecuted you, or anything? Like, is there any hope for this? No, There's no crime there isn't. We tried for years. Jeez, it's just crazy. She's not doing anything illegal. illegal. Because I, I cyber law, the law has not kept up with cyber crimes like this. <laughs> And these are more emotional crimes. Even with the money that she goes through, you know, it, you know, other than the, the like, from stealing from Van Lufa, but like she said, she tried. They were, these were opened online, these credit cards, at her house. There was no way to prove it wasn't her. Um, and Jackie stays this side of the law. She only goes so far, even with the book that she wrote. People were so irate that Mary didn't um, sue her for that book. She couldn't. Now, I've talked to Mary and um, got a little bit better understanding of what she's been through. And the book, there was, you know... You can write anything you want about anybody in a book. You don't have to have proof. You can write it as a story, which is what Jackie did. So this horrible, horrible ebook that she wrote, that she oh that that's another thing. Her ebook um, that she claims she goes on book tours for all the time. For two years, she did book tours all through the country, and you know we were trying to. Remind people that it's an ebook. People don't do book tours for ebooks. <laughs> and she, so, so she you're was telling me that people would print out this entire ebook just to go get it signed. Yeah, no, but it doesn't happen. <laughs> Bookstores don't do that. So she listed the cities she was going to be in on the one tour. And um, she was going to be in, oh, I don't even know how many cities in Ohio. And we broke it up. And we 
each called every bookstore in that city and nobody had ever heard of her what her kind of book could she write what, it, what are you telling me what was in this book so you're telling me the cat fisher Jackie, yeah who claimed it was to be the Sam story and, of what happened between her and mary and, and she, but, did she tell it the truth like how she no, was the one who made no, up all no, no 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 really? she wrote it as if she was the man sam and it really oh, happened wow. and they really slept wow. together and stuff Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> she wishes, huh? Except it, the book is taken from her blog because she blogged all uh, about all this stuff. So it was nothing new, but she promised people that there were going to be pictures because, you know, we have somebody in the group, Lolly, that has just pounded her. Prove, you know, prove it. Show us pictures of you and Mary together. Well, they were going to be in the book. Well, they didn't make the first edition, but there was going to be a second printing. They were going to be in that one. And, of course, they weren't because there are no pictures of them together because they were never together. Well, Sam but, doesn't exist. No. I told y'all this was a whole mess. Hell, this is a whole shit show on its own. Okay? I done over here ate a sandwich, drinking my energy drink, eating some sweet potato fries. <laughs> y'all... I'm invested. But now we are going to listen to the voicemails that Mary left Sam. Keep in mind, Sam is not a real person. Sam does not exist. Sam is, in fact, this lady, Jackie, who has done catfished people from all over this world. Oh, yes. So let's get into these voicemails. Baby, where are you? What's going on? I don't know what happened. I don't know why you're not answering. I don't know why you won't text me back. I don't know why you hung up on me. You don't need to run from me, okay, baby? I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I love you. Call me back. Love you. Baby, don't be giving up. Hey, what's going on with you? I know you're really stressed. I really do. I understand that. I'm trying to make things on you. I'm like, I, I, I'm still right here, okay? I, I'm good here. I, I don't know why you're saying you're stressed. I don't know what's going on. Okay, okay. I'm not 25. I'm driving. Um. I love you. I anyway, to be at home. I'm smiling for things to do when I'm happy, okay? I don't know I don't know why they're not on that makes me sad, so um and that's another thing that Jackie has done through the years. The woman that the private investigator that we spoke to to and or that we hired spoke to spoke honestly and told us the truth um and told us that basically she was being blackmailed she was forced to turn her twitter account over to jackie she was um why you know, <sighs> Because Jackie always has something over these people. My goodness, wow. Well, and, and you have to remember, Jackie was actually inside the home of Mary. It's I know, that, that is that creepy, person. man. That is so creepy. Mm -hmm. That crazy woman made her way into several. She made her way into the van. Van's she was in Van's home. Yep. Here. Years right. before. She lived with the van and opened up credit cards in her and her daughter's oh right gosh, name. So scary. Right. Correct. That is scary. Do you have that mm -hmm. podcast, Wendy? Hi, guys. It is book club day. Yay. 19th of the month. Everybody looks forward to this. We've been doing this for seven years now, every month. Um, right now, I'm your host, Sam. You can find me on Not Batman Yet on Twitter. And we have a special guest co-host going in for Jessica this week. We have Red. Say hi, Red. Hi, everybody. So, what did we think of this book, guys? Let's just dive right into this. Um, this week, you guys voted, or this month, you guys voted on the title, American Dirt, by Janine Cummins. 
Um, she's she's got a couple other pieces of work out there. I mean, I don't know how much of that you guys want to hear. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, we don't need to hear all of it. But but so that woman's voice that you heard was that him too? No, no that was actually Red. That was actually the person that came to Charlie and spilled the beans to Charlie. Oh, okay. I would like to, do y'all, y'all don't have, I guess, an actual recording other than typically the person that she is either just broken up with or needs to um, torture mentally a little bit mm -hmm. is what town she's in. You know, mm -hmm. she was from um, a, a state that, that one of the ladies here was from. Now, right yeah, now, I'll say it. I used to live in Nebraska. And she was from Nebraska. Yeah. Right? So Yeah, Sam said he was born in Nebraska. Right? So yeah. so currently, um, um one of them was from Denver. Well then she moved to Denver and actually told this lady that she was at her house banging on the door and she needed to open the door. And she wasn't there to think to let the lady think she was going crazy. True story wow. that wow. that happened. So somebody, there might be somebody in Hawaii right now because she's back and forth to Hawaii a lot right now. Well, she says she is. We really know she's just home in wherever Oklahoma still for all we know. Like I um, said, I think she lives in a basement with a yeah. keyboard in front of her all the time. Yep. Oh, I am definitely looking into this lady, okay? Because this right here is a whole damn lifetime series, okay? This is like, I don't know. This is beyond. Now, apparently this person, Jackie, goes by the name Lindsay, Sam. Hell, she probably goes by damn Deb, Mary... Tracy, Cindy, Jennifer. I mean, there's no telling. No telling. And I want to know what her end goal in all this is. Like, what motivates you to do this? To talk to people under somebody else's name, pictures, and voice. Like, it's just weird. And so now the question, did Mary cheat? And, you know, about Mary and the catfish. This right here. Y'all, I done went down the damn rabbit hole. And I took y'all's ass with me. <laughs> Some of you might have already known about this. But I didn't know how deep this went. Okay? Now, we've been hearing about Mary was catfished. And that was the reason her and Coat. No one, that ain't the reason. But, y'all. Woo-wee. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you made it through this entire video. If you did, I appreciate you so much. I'm going to need to interview this person. Like, I want to interview this person. I want to be like, what is your deal? Are Like, what's the deal? And how many and which celebrities have you catfished already and been successful with? I am dying to know. And then I want to end the interview with... It's just weird. You're just doing weird stuff. Don't be weird. Don't be like this lady. And y'all, let this be a lesson to all of you. Do not trust anybody you meet on the internet. You never know who could be saying they are who. You never know. Y'all smash that subscribe button if you have not already. And click that bell to all. That way you'll be notified every time I upload. I love you so much for watching. I love you so much for being here. Y'all comment your thoughts and opinions below. I am dying to read them. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to hear what y'all have to say. I love you for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video.